homemade bouncy balls. That's what we're doing today. What's up everybody? Today we're doing something I actually did as a kid, except we're doing it totally different. So I never really did this as a kid. Hopefully show you guys how to make homemade bouncy balls. I have not done this technique before. I'll be honest, for the most part, this is materials that you'll have at home. Right when you're done watching this, you can subscribe and then go do it. I'm excited guys, like yeah, I, I love doing this stuff. All right guys, let's just jump right into it. Here's what you're gonna need to make some homemade bouncy balls. You're gonna need some measuring spoons. We're using these guys again. When I bought these, I never thought I'd use them half as much as I do. You're gonna need some white glue. This was my attempt at trying to make it a non-sponsored video. When I went to rip off the sticker, it did one of those frustrating ass peels where it's like half of it's there. Some white glue. Some food coloring. Now this is optional technically. Food coloring is only needed if you plan on making your bouncy ball colorful. If not, I believe it'll turn out white, I wanna say. Today we're using neon actually. You're gonna need some cornstarch. You're gonna need a glass, a mixing bowl, a cup. Today we're using just a clear measuring cup just so you guys can actually see what's happening. You're gonna need some borax. I have no friggin' clue what borax is. So I don't know if it's safe or not. The only misleading thing is that there's like a little cowgirl in the box. It can't be that dangerous. Oh my god, that's like a boxception. She's holding a box with herself on it. Oh, here we go. Borax is most often used as laundry booster. Caution. Eye irritant may be harmful if swallowed. Don't eat this. If you're looking for this, it's in the laundry aisle at your grocery store. That's where I found it. And you're also gonna need another cup. Just an empty cup. This is for the secondary mixture. Okay, so you're gonna have two. And last but not least, you're gonna need some warm water. I'm just kidding, it's warm water. It's Dan warm water. I was gonna say lukewarm, but like what did Luke deserve to get that title, you know what I mean? And that's all you need to make bouncy balls. I'm telling you guys, it's super easy. All right, let's do it, step one. Step one, we're gonna grab our mixing bowl and the, the measuring spoons. Two tablespoons, so the big one, of warm water. One, two. Next, we are gonna take the borax and do half a teaspoon. On these measuring spoons, they actually have it labeled, half a teaspoon, so we're gonna use that. Oh my God, it's very messy. Okay, and go ahead and add that to your, your warm water. You need a spoon to stir. Now go ahead and stir the borax in the water until it's fully dissolved. This is not dissolving. It's staying in there, it won't dissolve. Let's just keep going and see what happens. Okay, now with the second cup, we're actually gonna add one tablespoon of white glue. Now, if you guys want your bouncy balls to be colorful, this is where you're gonna add the food coloring. So we're adding that to the second cup. We're gonna add like a neon green, just two drops. We have a nice neon green now. This is where like the science gets into place. You're gonna take your borax and warm water mix. You're gonna take half a teaspoon. It's the same one we use for the borax. We're gonna just take half a teaspoon of that and put it into the glue mixture. And you're not gonna stir, you're just gonna leave it. Guys, it's important you do not stir this part, just leave it to sit. Well, that's doing its thing. Go ahead and take your cornstarch. Next, you're gonna take one tablespoon of cornstarch. Now we use this for glue, so there is glue on here, so I'm not gonna put it in the bag. This is also gonna be very messy. Like very messy. Oh my God. We're gonna add that into the glue mix and you're just gonna let that sit for 10 to 15 seconds. Do not stir anything, let it sit for 10 to 15 seconds. We're now gonna mix it fully. Now as we're mixing, it's gonna get to the point where you can't actually stir it anymore. It's not gonna be an easy stir. Once it becomes impossible to stir, kind of like how it is now, it's made like a little ball. We're gonna take it out and we're gonna start to knead it with our hands. So it's gonna, yeah, see it's starting to stick together. And it becomes elastic, kind of stretchy and like it'll stick, stick together. It looks like a giant piece of gum, to be honest, this one. Then you're gonna roll it into a ball, like that. I'm not happy with this. We might have to do this again in a different way. Okay, so after kneading it for about, I don't know, two to three minutes, it's not even sticky anymore. Like when this first started, it was sticky. It would stick to your fingers, but it's really not anymore. At this point, you could make it into a ball. And essentially that right there is our bouncy ball. Right, let's try. No, I'm sorry, this. I've seen enough, I'm not impressed with this. We're gonna do this again. We're gonna play around with the ingredients at this point. I'm actually gonna go with hot water. I don't think the water was warm enough actually. This is bouncy ball number two. How is it worse than the first one? It feels and looks so much better. Let's see their first one. Oh, 
Oh, hold on, maybe you gotta let it dry. It's bouncing higher. We may just need to be a little bit more patient. The blue one right now is very fresh. This one's been sitting for about five minutes. It's getting bouncier. This is the green one, okay? This is the blue one we just did. No, see, the blue one's still too soft because when I do it, it actually needs to almost dry. Because when I hit it, it's actually staying flat and a lot of the bounce is being absorbed by it's like squishy. It's like this one stays, whereas this one sort of bounces back. Okay, so maybe the water temperature does matter. I'm losing a little bit of hope in this blue one. Like, look how, like, it's kind of like Play-Doh. It's still very, you could form it very easy. Still exploding. And here's the blue one. No. I'm gonna try freezing them. See if that does anything. After 10 minutes in the freezer, let's see what happens. Oh, it's better. Better. Not bad, that's a little bit more acceptable, guys. So all in all, one of the most important things you have to do is actually freeze it. Definitely the green one is better. Hold on, hold on. I'm on a roll here. <laughs> I'm torn to decide if this was a pass or a fail, you know? There are better ways to make homemade bouncy balls. The past two DIYs I've done have been great successes. This one, not so much. I'm gonna give this one a six out of 10. There's gonna be another DIY coming at you on Sunday. I'm gonna put it to the test, see if it works as well as the internet says it does. And this Friday, there will be a brand new Shot and Forgot coming at you. So if you guys don't want to miss those, be sure to subscribe to my channel and turn the notifications on. If you don't want to do that, just make sure you come back. We can't blame YouTube forever. So yeah, you guys now technically know Wednesdays, Fridays, and Sundays will be for sure video days for me. So be sure to come back. Thank you guys so much for watching, and I'll see you guys in my next video. See you guys later.